There's been a lot of debate lately about what talent is better with the Coruscation staff, the new staff for Sienna, uh, at least on Battle Wizard. Is it Volcanic Force? Is it Famished Flames? Or is it Lingering Flames? Well, I've been doing some testing. And as you can see here, I did uh, consecutive charges the same amount. One, and when one would end, I would go for two, and then consecutively increasing in numerical value uh, until the monster was dead. Volcanic Force and Famished Flames seem to be pretty neck and neck, pretty even, while Lingering clearly took much, much longer, um, about four times as long when it, when it was all said and done. So clearly the choice is going to come down, at least with this staff, between Famished and uh, Volcanic Force, unless you really like the idea of enemies burning until they die for very low damage. So between Volcanic and Famished, which is better for the staff and which should you take? Well, that's what I'm here to answer. So I will explain the staff and hopefully give you guys a better understanding of how it works. So when we're talking about the Coruscation staff, you can basically think of it as having like two different forms of tick damage, right? So you make your little circle, you burn the guy, and inside that circle, roughly, um, is going to be one form of tick damage. And that works really well with Volcanic Force. But if I were to make the same circle, right in the middle, on the outskirts of it, there's a different form of tick damage. This is your DOT, your damage over time. And it's pretty wide. It's a lot wider than the actual circle is. And that is what works really well with Famous Flames. As you can see here, I have Volcanic on, and this DOT is still not killing this raider. God damn. But if I were to put it right on him, he dies pretty much instantly. We'll make a fresh one here. You put it right on him, as you saw before. Volcanic Force. And he is dead in one charge. One charge attack, and he's dead. These guys have lots of health, too. Pretty interesting. So we're going to see exactly just how much... The Famished Flames, one single, fully charged attack will do against the Spawn of Chaos. Bolting, but it'll burn like the rest. This is the Legend difficulty. And yeah, it appears to be uh, about 20% right in front of that little uh, spike there. And now we'll see how Famished Flames fares. Once again, on the Legend difficulty, Against a Spawn of Chaos, one single full charge attack from the Coruscation staff with Famished Flames. What's us? Looks like someone's fallen from favor. Pretty much right at the spike. So it appears to me that Famished Flames, inside the circle, and on the outer DOT tick damage, does more than Volcanic Force. But wait a minute, how can that be? We just saw the Volcanic Force burning Rat Ogre die faster than the Famished Flames burning Rat Ogre. How can Famished Flames do more? My conclusion, Volcanic Force stacks better than Famished Flames does, at least inside the little circle of damage. It might even tick faster, too. Um, the, so the more... Uh, you know, little geysers that you, you make, it seems that it will do more with Volcanic Force. But even though one from Famished Flames does slightly more than one from Volcanic Force, Volcanic Force stacks better on that inside charge attack, not the outside DOT. Famished Flames wins that one all day. So let's take a moment to talk about the left-click attack of the Coruscation Staff. It's kind of like a, a nice wide shotgun area. It's got lots of range, does really good damage. Um, so right now, uh, we've kind of ruled out lingering for the Staff. Lingering's not really great for the Staff. I think it comes down between Famished and Volcanic Force. So let's try those out. With Famished Flames, obviously you do two and a half times more burn damage, but your all your non-burn damage is reduced by 30%. Unfortunately, this does count for the shotgun on the Coruscation staff. As you can see, it's still quite a bit of damage. You still do a lot, but it is, of course, 30% lower than it would be on Volcanic Force. You can see quite a bit of difference here. 
So when we're talking about what's better on the staff, Volcanic Force or Famish Flames, it comes down to a matter of personal preference. What do you want to prioritize? Do you want to prioritize melee damage and the kind of um, generating multiple, multiple geysers in the same basic area? Or do you just want to maybe cast like a few here and there and let the horde kind of just run through it and sacrifice some melee damage and a little bit of damage on the shotgun? Um, I'd say either one of these works incredibly well, and they both shine in different areas. They both kind of do basically the same thing. Um, some areas, of course, a little bit better than others, but it comes down to which do you like better. They're both really freaking good. This staff is fun. Give it a freaking try.